That's me in 1975. That's alfalfa. And that's an irrigation ditch. And I got bitten a lot. Maybe that's why I chose to study mosquitoes. But what about sex? I can honestly say this kid was interested in it. Ten years on, and I was a graduate student under Woody Foster. I went on a trip to the Peruvian Amazon. Oh, man. In 1974. Jeez. And I was up a river, a tributary of the Amazon River. Right. And one of these things in a clearing came right. out of the forest and landed on my nose. And I wow. said, holy cow, this must be <laughs> Belisario uh, that Gillett had been talking about. Sight unseen, I was immediately in love with Sabbathies. And Woody and I made plans to pursue them. By thousands of Panamanians opposed to Noriega. Sometimes the best biology is in difficult places. And our difficult place was Noriega's Panama. The country was tense, but we were headed for a tropical paradise. Every day we had one goal, find Sabbathies. We tried high canopy, no Sabbathies. We tried mid canopy, still no Sabbathies. Then, in a clearing caused by a fallen tree, it happened. Just like in Peru, a blue and heavily paddled beauty bit Woody on the nose. We had to take precautions to secure our catch. We colonized two species, and that's when the fun really started. We already knew that gravid females would launch individual eggs through openings in bamboo internode traps. Behold, catapult overposition at 1400 frames per second. Sabathy's cyaneus perch by hanging. Horizontal sticks were placed in cages. And then things really got sexy. Males patrolled, hovered along a female, and boom! Pivoted off her wing to face her on the stick. He takes his time. A successful courtship lasts longer than this talk. Here's the highlights. This is swinging. Watch your abdomen as it lowers into position. This is a copulation attempt. Folks, these are the largest genitalia in the culicity. This stage is superficial coupling. No sperm transfer yet, but he does my favorite behavior, the wave. Now, a genital shift. Sperm transfers, and he waggles. In the end, she always stops the mating with an impressive scissor kick. Yes, I'm a mosquito sexologist. Can you blame me?